Gomer! Gomer! Get your lazy bones in here and fix my bath! Master, are you sure you need to take a bath? You just had one two weeks ago. <laughs> you smell all right to me. My mama never let me take a bath unless I smelled bad. She would say, Gomer, you smell bad. Take a bath. Be quiet, Gomer. I've had a bath every day for the last two weeks. No thanks to you. Joseph fixed it for me because no one could find you. Now get going. Well, okay. I'll fix you a bath if you want me to. Personally, I think it's a waste of water. You smell fine to me. I always say, if it don't stink, don't clean it. Ugh. Why can't he be like Joseph? Master, do you have a few moments? Of course, Joseph. I always enjoy talking with you. I just wanted to give you an update on what I've accomplished so far today. I sold all the surplus wheat to the neighbors for $4,000. Then I bought 150 head of cattle from the Muites and turned around and sold them to the Stakeites for $10,000 of profit. All the barns have been repainted, the horses washed, the sheep are sheared, and- Whoa there, young man. It's only 11 a.m. We haven't even had lunch yet. How did you get all this done? Well, I got up early this morning and prayed that God would be with me and prosper my way. And he did. Well done, young man. Why don't you take a little break and catch your breath? Oh, I can never do that, sir. I left the other servants that I'm training. They're grooming the camels, and I promised them that I would be right back. Wait, I wanted to tell you about your promotion. Promotion? I'm putting you in charge of my house. Every servant, all my money, everything. You work hard and I trust you, Joseph. You are the jewel of the Nile as far as I'm concerned. Wow, thank you, sir, but it's God working in me. He has given me favor with you. God's favor put you on top. I will not disappoint you. I wish there were more people like Joseph in the world. This would be a better place, that's for sure. Potiphar, I've been looking all over for you. What's the matter? Oh, Joseph, he attacked me. Joseph? Joseph? No way. Here's his robe. No! I am beside myself with joy. My life has never been so good. Since Joseph came, everything is running so smoothly here. I get to go home at night to be with my wife and children. The cells are clean, no more fights. I even got a raise since I put Joseph in charge. What a jewel he is. Well, Mr. Jalen, it looks like your life has just gotten harder. Remember that dream Pharaoh had? The one Joseph was sent to interpret? Oh no. Do you mean to tell me that Joseph could not tell him the meaning of his dream? No, no. He told Pharaoh what the whole thing meant. Hey, where is Joseph? You did not bring him back like you promised you would. That's what I came to tell you. You see, there's been a little change of plans. It seems Pharaoh liked Joseph so much, he made him vizier over Egypt. What is this vizier? You don't know what a vizier is? He's second in command over all of Egypt. He answers only to Pharaoh. You could say he's the jewel of the Nile. It is the favor of his God, I tell you. God's favor puts you on top. Joseph is a foreigner, a Jew. To think that he has been a slave since coming to our country than a prisoner, and now he is second in command. A vizier. I'm happy for Joseph. His God is good to him. What you have told me today is wonderful, super, excellent, outstanding, incredible. Wait a minute, what am I saying? Who is going to run my jail now? You are. That is what they pay you for, remember? I think I'm going to start worshipping the god of Joseph. I could use a little favor in my life. What am I saying? A little favor? I need a lot of favor. <laughs>